stop what you're doing. Mm, we found it. We found the next chicken and waffles. Hey, Hello, Boo! Four, three, two, one. And I'm Allie. And we love a good challenge here on The Loop Show. We love a good adventure. And if you ask us to try something, we're gonna try it. It might not always be pretty, but sometimes the reward is so worth it. So we were talking off camera about how awesome chicken and waffles is. And how human being on our earth took a look at chicken, took a look at waffles, said, mm-hmm, mm, and then boom, combined them together, and now we have just Oh, just perfect combination of food. I'm mean, honestly angry I didn't think of it first. But you know, we can be great too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we thought, hey, why not here on The Loop Show, why don't we come up with the next chicken and waffle combination? And you know, a lot of great discoveries start with adventure. Yeah, the air is ripe with potential. So check this out while we get started. Hey guys, we are the Singermans. I'm Kevin. And I'm Victoria. I'm Rachel. I'm Josiah. And I'm Micah. Following Jesus requires us to have a lot of faith and is quite an adventure. And sometimes God asks us to do things that don't really make sense to us. Like for us to leave our home and our family here in America, to go to Africa and to serve people we've never even met. God has called us to be missionaries in Uganda so that we can tell Sudanese refugees about Jesus. Wait. Do you know what a refugee is? A refugee is someone who was forced to leave their country. Over a million people have fled from Sudan and South Sudan to Uganda for safety and security. There are tribes that are still fighting each other and so it's still not a safe place to live. Most of the Sudanese are Muslims and now God has provided us a chance to tell them about Jesus in the refugee camps. Impacting the refugee crisis is impossible for us, but not for God. He is at work bringing Sudanese refugees to faith in himself, and then they're returning back home to their countries with the gospel. When we decide to follow Jesus, not everything is sunshine and roses. It is an adventure, but adventures are adventurous because there's danger, the unknown, and different obstacles that we have to overcome. This one time we were traveling back from the refugee camps on really rough roads. And at one point we're driving down into a dry ravine and our car started to pick up speed. So I pushed the brake and nothing happened. So I pushed it a little bit harder and we just continued to pick up speed. So I say a prayer and as we go down, we make it down there safely and then up the other side of the road and we kind of slow to a stop. I threw that car into park. I jumped out, checked under the carriage and it was raining brake fluid. The roads were so rough that a part of our car had broken off and cut our brake line. We were still about 45 minutes out of town and there's no roadside assistance in Africa. As missionaries, you don't always know what's going to happen, but we know that God is good and he's always watching out for us. As Christians, we will face letdown and rejection. We won't always be popular for what we believe or how we act. But with Jesus, we know we can do whatever God has called us to. We have no idea where Jesus will take us when we follow him. And we also have no idea if mixing up together these different foods is going to be a good idea or a complete disaster. But you know what? We got this. We have to do it. We have to find the next chicken and waffle. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Wow. A lot of these things look really great oh by themselves. Ah. So yeah. I'm gonna pull a card, Ali's gonna pull a card, and we're going to combine them. So let's go for it. This one. <laughs> Seaweed. Okay. And okay. and jelly. Wow. Hmm. So we got some seaweed right here. Yeah, I'm gonna make it like a like a little wrap. It is falling apart. <laughs> it's losing. Let's give this a try. You got this. Mmm. Awful. <laughs> it's like you're chewing nature. I like just real earthy, which is weird because it's seaweed. You think you get more ocean? Ugh. Oh. <laughs> mm. Well, strike one. It's a strikeout. Let's try our next combination. So all right, all right. let's go with horse radish. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. I can take that. Marshmallow cereal. I think the marshmallow cereal first. Okay, yeah. Horseradish is, it's like spicy. Mm -hmm. right, let's kind of mix this in. It's like wasabi a little bit where it's gonna get you like 
here and like in in like your throat a little bit. Got it, got it. But I grew up eating a lot of horseradish, so. Okay. Whew. You know what? That's not bad. Really? It's really not that bad. You get the like horseradish in there, but then you get like pops of marshmallow. So it kind of counteracts it. It kind of says, hey horse, calm mm. down, mm. settle down. Mm. It does. It's very possible that I think that this is great and you might hate it. Yeah. I am gonna take this as a win. Okay, so we have a contender. We have a contender. I'm ready, what's our next combination? Okay. We've got cheesecake. And chili. Oh yeah. All right. Maybe this is what cheesecake has been missing all along. Look at that. Oof. Let me get some of that chili. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Really? This is good. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna go in for seconds. That. This is. Wow. Patent pending. Uh. Patent pending. Next one. I'm Let's ready. I'm ready. Go with this. Uh. Okay. Queso. And. Cinnamon rolls. Interesting. Okay, I, I got that like dessert cheese vibe a little bit. Okay, yeah, I mean, I have cheese for several meals, including dessert, so maybe this will work. Okay, okay, okay. Come on now, they're sticky. Wow. Like icing, you yeah, know? Yeah, it's like an added glaze to it. Yeah. Excellent. Let's just go for it. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm All right, ready. let's do this. I think that's gonna be good. I think so too. Okay, so what do you think? <laughs> horrible. That's terrible. Horrible. Got it. Okay, so sorry. <laughs> Today, right now, we are gonna choose our own adventure, all right? I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna pick two things or more that I think go together well. I have had my eye on the meatballs Ooh. and tapioca. Oh wow. What brought this idea to your mind? I'm How going I'm going this? to this, I'm going for the sweet and savory. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try it with the seaweed as well. I'm excited for this, Ricky. Thanks. Like a little appetizer. <laughs> Just Look at this. It. Right there. Okay, let's give it a go. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. It works. There it is. Here we go. <laughs> it's game time. Mmm. We're all going to Flavor Town. <laughs> it's a party on your plate. It is a party. So what I'm thinking here, cheesecake. I'm gonna put some jelly on it. Like I, I know that this is a little, this is a little okay. um, conventional. And then I'm gonna take some of these. Hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos on there. And we're gonna try this. We're gonna just kinda crumble that all over there. And then you got the jelly, a little texture Listen, in there. Listen, you kinda eat first with your together. eyes. Okay, shall we? I like that. That's it? Mm -hmm. Excellent. I really like that. So I think we have a pretty good idea of what is going to make our final three dishes that we are all mm. going to try. Mm. Before we formulate those ideas, check this out. Hey Loop, it's Christina, and I am not an adventurer, but there was one time that I went whitewater rafting, so let me show you about how that went. I was terrified. So my friends and I go to the river, and we meet our instructor and he essentially says, hey, no matter what, you need to listen to me because if you don't, you might fall out of the boat. What? <laughs> so we start going down the river and almost immediately we hit our first big rapid. So there's this freezing water splashing all over me. I'm holding on to my paddle as tight as I can and I had no idea what was going on. Getting into that boat is kind of like following Jesus. I don't always know what to expect. In fact, Jesus actually talks about what it's like to follow him in Matthew 8. Here's what the Bible says. Then one of the teachers of religious law said to him, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. But Jesus replied, foxes have dens to live in, birds have nests, but the son of man has no place even to lay his head. In the Bible, the word follow is written as akalutheo or exakalutheo, which means to accompany and to imitate. Jesus basically asked this guy, I get what you're saying, but are you really willing to accompany me and imitate me? Because I can't promise that it's gonna be easy. I don't even know where I'm gonna sleep tonight. So back to the rapids for a second. Just when I thought I was gonna fall out of the boat and I couldn't take it anymore, our boat got to part of the river that was calm and peaceful. And I got to take a break and look up and see all of the blue sky and the beautiful trees around me. And I felt like I could breathe again. I felt like I was at peace. That is until the guide said, hey, we've got another rapid coming up. Get ready to battle. Here's the deal. 
If my friends and I just got in the boat and held on to the sides out of fear, our boat definitely would have crashed. But instead, we listened to our guide, we picked up our paddles, and we actively pushed ourselves forward so that we could see all of the beautiful things down the river. And following Jesus is the same thing, right? We don't always know what to expect, but God wants to guide us. He wants us to pick up our paddles and push ourselves closer to Him in faith. Because following Jesus for life is just waking up each day and saying, hey God, where are we going today? How can I love you and others more? And don't get me wrong, it's not always gonna be easy. There will be times where you feel like you're caught in a rapid. There will be times that you wanna look up and see all of the beauty in the world, but you just can't see what God is doing. But keep going, because following Jesus is the greatest adventure that you'll ever take. So get in the boat, pick up your paddle, and listen to your guide. An adventure is only an inconvenience rightly considered. An inconvenience is only an adventure wrongly considered. G.K. Chesterton. Do you think the person who came up with chicken and waffles tried other food combinations before they came up with the big one? Oh, definitely. They yeah. probably tried like chicken and cereal, chicken Ooh, pancakes. Beets and donuts, maybe? On that note, food innovation is not easy, but I think we did it. Bring out All the right. dish. Or do I? Okay. Okay, we're gonna start with the chili cheesecake. All right. Let me know what you think. Okay. Mmm. You're speechless. It's so good you're speechless. You know, part of me kind of hates this. <laughs> Is it the stomach part of you? Is it the I taste mean, part of the, you? It's the first taste. Like it goes into my mouth and my brain's like, no, absolutely not. So uh, on a scale of one to five, where would you rate it? I'm I'm going to go optimistic because I think you have something here. Okay. And I'm going to go at a 3.7. 3.7. Passing, 7. but barely. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. okay. Now let's move on over to your lovely combination of horseradish and marshmallow cereal. Let's do it. Let's do it. Make sure you mix it together. Okay. I've never had horseradish before. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. But it sounds like it's gonna be an adventure. You ready? Huh? <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Lemon wasabi um, all wrapped up in a fist and just terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is making me a little worried for the meatball now. Because oh, maybe we man. just have different tastes. Mm. If I were to give this a scale, like a, a rating one on five, a scale one of five. one to five, give it a negative 12. <laughs> it is, uh, it's off the charts for me. <sighs> but now, let's go to our final contender. We have the seaweed, meatball, and tapioca wrap of sorts. Kind so, of worried about this one. So it works best if you okay. kind of combine them all together, like with your fork. That's what you want it to look like. Right there. That's close enough. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Okay. Mmm. What are you thinking? The seaweed, meatball, tapioca. All right. Here we go. How would you describe people who are adventurous? Like someone who goes out of their comfort zone and doesn't like stick to the ordinary, like risk takers, I guess. Very nice. What's something surprising about following Jesus? Honestly, that you never know where it's gonna take you, mm -hmm. but it always takes you someplace better than you think you're gonna be. It'll change your life in the most incredible way. Sometimes God will tell you to like, take a different path and you don't know if you can like, hang on. Mm -hmm. but you just have to trust in him and that his plans will prevail. Something surprising about following Jesus. When I talk about feeling his love for me, feeling like there's this person that's always with me, and I know it sounds weird because Jesus, you can't see him, he's not around, but it's this confidence in knowing that I am truly loved like I am, that somebody loves me, and that's Jesus. So what's something fun about following Jesus? It's definitely like seeing him work in my friends' lives and like just work in my life. I just feel like it's so fun to like see that he's doing something like so powerful in people's lives. When you've made a whole bunch of bad decisions in your life, it's difficult for life to be fun. Yeah. 
But when you make great decisions because Christ has led you there, then so many things are become more available to you and they become, there's opportunities for fun that you didn't have. There's mm-hmm. opportunities for relationships that you wouldn't have had. So, so I think there's so many things that are fun yeah. about following Jesus. What's some wisdom about following Jesus that you can pass on, ooh, to the person <laughs> sitting across from you? This is hard. <laughs> um, definitely that it's like not as complicated as we often like make it. Like it's really simple. Like it's just Jesus. It's just you and Jesus in a relationship. You just have to wake up in the morning and say like, okay, Jesus, what do you want to do today? Like, what do you want to do in my life today? No matter how young you are, you can still have, or you can still set an example for other people around you. If God calls you to do something, man, go at it, be passionate. Following Jesus is is an adventure. It's like being on this life adventure, kind of like we're on a life adventure with our friends where we're going to school together, we're hanging out together. But the number one thing I would pass along would be to communicate every day. And so just as when we're on this life's adventure with our friends, when we're communicating every day, we're in each other's lives. We know what's going on. In the same way we have healthy relationships with our friends when we communicate every day, we have a healthy relationship with Jesus when we communicate with Him every day. All right, it's here, the moment you have all been waiting for. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm yeah. ready. Here we go. We've got our winner. We've got the lovely meatball mm-hmm. on the seaweed. Yes. With the tapioca pudding, not just any pudding. I think it's the sweet, it hits the savory, and I also think I have a name for it, okay? So, meatballs, right? Meatballs. They have been known as Swedish meatballs, um, but we're using seaweed. We have a little bit of something sweet on the top, sweet ish. Meatballs. Oh man. I... Ladies and gentlemen, the new chicken and waffles. Congratulations, Ricky. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. And let us know what adventures you're going on this week. Following Jesus can lead to a life of adventure. And it's like chicken and waffles. It's a little uncommon, but also a ton of fun. It can be uncertain, but trust that God is in control. You never know what surprises you will find along the way when you're following Jesus. So keep moving forward, adventurers. Until next time. Enjoy, Enjoy the ride! ride. Allie, what other food combinations have you tried that's... Um... Uh, peanut butter and spaghetti. What? I mean, yes. Okay, so one time I tried this, um, it's like a sandwich called uh, Subs and Likes. Um, it's where you subscribe and you like. Ah, and then you I see what you did there. That's great. That's so let great. us know in the comments what's your favorite food combination. Please. But also Sub and Like. <laughs>